do I gain access that way? No. Exactly. So you can it doesn't matter. You can approach, you can talk, you can be the man, you can pull out 300 400 500 dollars by a bottle of Chris until she says yes, you are granted no access, nigga. No mm. access whatsoever. Denied, void, tilt. I am the door though, not her. Aaron with the 10 ounces. Definition of access, a meaning of approaching or entering a place. According to them, you can enter any woman you want to if you got all the extra shit. Yet yeah, bums have most kids, rich men going to jail. Uncle Jeff, what's pop? Hey, Aaron, hit the link. You ain't working yet. Uncle Jeff, what's popping? What's happening, fellas? Uh, Y'all hear me good? Yes, sir. What's good? Yeah. You? Yeah. Great, great conversation. Uh, uh, respect to all the brothers on the panel. Um, because there's a new saying I got, because we are all smart, we should try to find a way to uh, believe that maybe, just maybe all of us are right. Um, this is this is a many headed animal. Uh, it used to be no. Uh, uh, can I speak freely? Can I use is there any words restrictions? No. no used sir. to be no money, no pussy. That used to be them. Used to be the them. Used to be the rules. I saw those rules broken constantly growing up as a young dude in Chicago. I saw a bunch of dudes that couldn't put a down payment on a bag of toaster crumbs <laughs> and had more women than they take a stick at because they knew how to gain access there are three things these are three things that no woman can resist chivalry humor and confidence if you had them three things you can be ugly as work boots you can be broke you can be catching the bus and have women on a string you can be a, uh, uh, the 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 other thing i think that i lend to this is uh this is why i tell women they can't fuck like we do because pussy is earned and dick ain't when is the last time you had to wash your car cut your hair and act like you was interested in a man's gender specific shit just to get him to lay down with you the answer is never never if we if we think you're cute enough we'll wash you up before we fuck you we listen a man will listen to any story if it's some pussy at the end of it we did so uh uh and and to to put this entirely to strip to sleep, Mr. Let Go, you are absolutely unequivocally wrong with regard to women not uh, giving access to sex because uh, what you're discussing is the traffic lights. That's what women are. Every light, hey, can I have your name? Traffic light. Can I have your number? Traffic light. Can I take you out? Traffic light. Can I hold your hand? Traffic light. Uh, uh, can I kiss you? Traffic light. Is we gonna do the nasty? Traffic light. Run one of them lights and see what happens. They put all those lights up. What you are discussing is traffic speed. Men have access to traffic speed, whether I'm going to go down this street or not. Now, cats like LeBron got the world open to them. They don't, the, 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 the access becomes reversed because of how much they are desired. But we are not talking about, that's a garden variety NBA player. No, I'm talking about the niggas that's going to get off of here. And I don't know, maybe somebody has 50 million bucks in their account that we know that they're not, that they're secretly not sharing. But if you talking about regular dudes, what? <laughs> if you talk about regular, <laughs> yeah, yeah, other than the Sith Lord here, uh, 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 regular dudes, bruh, the woman, the woman, I, I used to say this a man don't choose a woman, a woman makes the choice to be chosen. And that, oh. that I don't know how you're getting around that. And this could be, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to land the plane. There has been a woman ratio change since when I was in the street. And it's, it's, it's 18 to 1 now, which is why I don't understand young dudes complaining about women instead of just firing their asses till you get the ones you want. But uh, uh, unless you're talking about the ratio change, maybe, and still, still, women got... Uh, uh, provide access to sex. That's what I said. All right. So let me just respond because you literally just proved my point right there. Because that's one of the things I was going to say. In mm -hmm. most large cities, it's 80,000 more women than men in that large city. You live in Idaho, it might be a different story. But Atlanta, Houston, uh, LA is, is way, way more women. And we grant access to those women those women are the ones who can't get what they want not the men 
because we it's so it's just simple the, the numbers just and that's the one thing that's but the thing about, so that's that's one thing but if a guy fucks the dog shit out of a woman and she's a part of a community like in high school when we was young or whatever just as an example at a job that employs a whole lot of black people you fuck the dog shit out of one woman you want to have at least seven eight other women wanting to fuck you too you ain't got to do nothing so it's variables that that common man that works in the mayor room of a job that can do that can get all these women please pick me please pick me please fuck me please fuck me it ain't got nothing to do with money it's about different variables like i said you have to have a range of benefits for a woman to want you and that's the thing and the variables are what i've been talking about for the last hour or so it's not just about money it's variables because it's more women than men and women are looking because uh trigger mike was talking about the 10 percent if you ain't somewhere near the 10 percent you got control of that and that's your level of variables so if you change your variables whether it's height dick size money cars status or whatever you can make changes but these, I don't think you can make changes to the dick size, sir. No, 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 no. I, I, okay. What don't you understand about range of variables? If you got a oh, little I got dick, that. I just didn't understand money, how to change That's size. a variable. That's all I'm saying. So oh, if, okay, okay. If one is low, you can change the variable ratio by doing something that would make something else higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. women will beg you to fuck them. And when it, even when it comes to, uh, uh, cause somebody said, um, women lose more when they have sex. I lose more when I have sex with a woman. Why? Because I'm a social media person. And if she gets mad that I don't want her no more, don't call her back or do something. She could turn around and expose me. And next thing you know, I'm on some P Diddy looking shit just at a lower level. Oh, um, Mr. Let Go did this, did that. So I lose, I can lose more than her in a situation. So why? Because of the variables that I put together for myself that made me a social media influencer. So men have the ability to change their variables, but they don't want to. They just want to do what? Sit on YouTube, whine about women all day, being victims of fucking women. Uncle Jeff. Yeah. On that, on that big Aaron was good. Oh, oh, you came and you want to smoke with me, huh? Okay, 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 okay. I like it. Shit like that. Shit um, like that. Shit like Uncle that. Jeff. Shit like that. Um, yes, sir. On that premise, right? Because I, I, I understand wholly what you were saying. I think generally that aligns with a lot of what Uncle Rick was saying as well. Um. So, and I'm gonna you. I have to use somebody so it can just be clear, like a LeBron James. Or, or Ali, as an example, LeBron or Ali, pick one. It's either easy. one, either yeah. six, six, half a dozen. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Shout out to the V neck and all that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Uncle Jack, is that no, a V neck or is that a V neck or V neck? Man, that's a V neck. <laughs> yeah. Yo, niggas um, still wearing V necks is crazy. That's yeah, got, that didn't come in a pack. <laughs> no, nah, that's it. No, nah, that's a, it. Got that's the little, uh, it got the little uh, polo man riding on the donkey in the right. bottom left hand corner. Right. right. That's that's the t shirt oh. you put on a hanger by yourself. <laughs> You're right. Right. That that's a dry cleaner t shirt. All right. All right. My bad. My bad. My bad. God damn, he got killed over that V neck that quick. <laughs> let, me go change, you, let me go change real quick. <laughs> I'll I'll why you still wearing V necks though? I'm just I'll saying, I'm like, what the I'll hell? Too. But Uncle Jeff, right? You take outliers, you know, like 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 to that to that level. Um, right. those men, you do you agree that they'll those men control access to sex, or not even those men? No, I think they have access to more situations where the women control access okay so more women they have a bigger number of the same thing i'm talking about okay so they can't run them lights either they have more options see, see okay. kobe bryant colorado they can't options, run them lights either. options access two totally different things two entirely th different things so regardless mm -hmm. of the myth the ilk of the man she always controls access correct Prime example prime example 
Go if you live in, uh, like Brother Let Go was saying, if you live in Pocatello, Idaho, you don't have access to a Ferrari dealership. You, you don't have a Ferrari dealership as an option. Okay. It's a Ferrari sh- dealership down the street. I just don't have $355,000 right here handy. <laughs> so I don't have access to that car. I have the idea that it's an option, but it's not an option mm-hmm. for me. Okay. Cats on that level, uh, uh, athletes, movie stars, uh, well-known rich dudes have more options of the women who provide access. Okay. They don't now, get okay. the grade either. Let me ask but you another, 100%. Let me, but he's also, ask, uh, that's also conflating value too. Like he'll say LeBron has access to women. That's why he gives access, right? But LeBron has to be LeBron to get that much the access to women he gets to, where a woman doesn't have to do absolutely nothing but just show up and can get access to the same type of man she is. So okay. she was really was still more valuable. But question in, in sexually, Uncle Jeff, let me I had nothing to do with what I said. Okay. All right. Well, I want to understand. I want to get under Uncle Jeff's understanding about this premise also. And I don't know if Aaron was here early, early, early. Um, because I started kind of early because I got to get on a plane. So, Uncle Jeff, here's the premise that I was laying out. Let me see what you think. Yes, sir. Which is what we say, right? Just in general, the sentiments that you hear on the on the on the on the on the panels, right? Not necessarily you, maybe not necessarily me, but we've heard it a bunch of times where we may have agreed to it to, to a point, right? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of good women. Majority of women are hoes. Have you heard that one before? Yes. Um, women cheat, if not more, just as much as men. Have you heard that one? Yes. Uh, sexual promiscuity, right? Social, social society says that women can uh, have freedom to do what they want with their bodies, right? Where yeah. they have sexual liberation, right? You heard that? You heard that one? Mm-hmm. And so we look, we say, women have more kids than men. Women have kids by two or more, you know, two or more men at any mm-hmm. given time. I think it's sixty-three percent of black women have uh, kids compared kids to that look like neighbors. Yeah. They don't look alike. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> they look like cousins or some shit. Yeah, yeah they right. look like they're waiting on the bus. <laughs> yeah. And then you got 54% of black men that have kids, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at all of this, right? Because we're talking about access in terms of, because seemingly we always want sex, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and women don't, which is why they have to grant us access. Um, but when I look at all these talking points and I'm putting them together, it leads me to a point to where women, I could argue, the argument I'm playing out there to see what we can understand is that they want sex just as much as us. Absolutely. So for me to push them away, for them to push us away, you know, there's a level, I'm not saying it's equal, but it's much closer. You know, that's why I'm arguing the premise of do women actually control access this day and age? But I disagree with that. But I, well, y'all keep going. Yeah, I just want to see Uncle Jeff. You can you can break it down. No, Ali, because he sure was talking to me. I know Uncle Jeff. That's why. No, that's why I push. I let it back go. But Uncle Jeff, you really believe that women want as much as sex as we want? Well, well, wait, wait. wait. See, no. Here's the thing. So, see, Uncle, Jeff, on, Jeff. <laughs> Uncle Jeff. Now, here's the thing. I'm not. There ain't no way they break the record. Hold on, hold on Ali. Hold on, Ali. I didn't. It's amazing how he's speaking my mind. I don't know how he's doing it. <laughs> Yeah, but Uncle Jeff, do you see? I, I took I, I'm I'm listening to all the conversations, right? Mm-hmm. All the things that are said, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Because we use a lot of those things, whether it, whether they 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 may be true, a level of truth, right? But we use them conveniently, and maybe I would even argue disparagingly to make our arguments in certain arguments. So they can whine on the internet all day about women. You put, but then when you put all of it together, I'm looking like, well, damn. If those all be true, can we now uh, assess the access point? Well, uh, I, to, to, to put a hole in a whole bunch of this, uh, 100% of straight men who cheat, cheat mm-hmm. with women. Okay. 100%. Yeah. So them women is fucking somebody. Um, the concept that women want sex less than men no they want sex just as much they want it to mean more they generally want sex to mean more this is where they get into this uh, uh, I, 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 I can have casual sex like a man 
yeah, till that dude reach in there and hit that cooking switch, in the words of comedian Evan Lionel. If you hit the cooking switch, she'll start making you cakes and pies. When 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 you it's it you can have casual sex with the man you can get up get up and walk casually away from. And that, that was dude, my point. That, that baby calf you y'all know what the baby calf is, right? That's what you put it on her when she get up and walk, she walk like a newborn calf. Yeah, <laughs> that dude right there. No, nah, no, no, you can't. And that and, was my point. And and, and that's mm -hmm. the dude that usually gets where is this going? Uh uh um, I'm not just gonna be doing this. You can just do this with the OPC syndrome dudes. These are dudes that uh, are something I've, I've coined called outside pussy chance syndrome. These are dudes that will wash your car and paint your house and, and do your brakes and watch your kids on the outside chance that they'll get a whiff. Them dudes, you can have casual sex with. That dude that got a folded jump rope in his pants and know what he's doing? No, you don't. No, you can't. No, you I know, can't. Uh, Uncle Jeff, Uncle Jeff, 100%, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 that, that's actually an excellent point, right? So so as we continue down the path of the things i laid out and then we take your premise and say that and we we, we use the other other stat um robin said my stat was wrong maybe so right okay um but they said what only 30 percent of women have vaginal orgasm okay right which goes to the premise where casual sex is more likely because they're not getting pleased to your point about baby caffeine them Mm -hmm. so it all lines up where it's like the access because and then uh the initial argument of majority of women are hoes you see what i'm saying so they are arguing that they can have casual sex and then they're not being pleased so they just looking for the right nigga to baby calf well well, well and this is this you is see what i'm uncle jeff well let me ask you this first before you reply i'm not mm -hmm. being i'm i'm literally putting all the points together and trying to see where we end up feel me go ahead yeah well well here's why here's where it, to 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 cap this off, and I'm y'all know I'm long winded. I'm I'm really working on uh, I don't I'm working on being briefer. I hope it I hope that's obvious. Um, briefer, yeah, briefer, briefer ain't a word. So that time you ain't working on it. Go ahead. Here, look here, look here, Uncle Rick. I don't need that from you, young man. <laughs> Uncle Rick, he trying to cho choose us by using a fake word. That don't even. <laughs> okay, the briefer is a word. Brief, briefer, and briefest. This is the briefest I've ever been. Now. Uh, 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 y'all making it long, god damn it. I'm, I'm trying to get it out. Uh, um, god this is what I do. This is what I don't understand about what young men don't understand. The world is your oyster. Uh, hoes are not. Virgins are not. You can fuck the girl that work on hot dog on a stick the same way you can the one that's the CEO of a company. I taught my sons this stay away from young men hear this stay away from dudes that say i'm going to get some pussy they're idiots you don't get pussy you give out dick and when you look at it that way you should not be laying down with any woman that does not fit one or more of the following cri criteria a i could see having a child with or b can move the needle forward in my purpose i'm only fucking accountants lawyers uh, uh, uh what do hey. i need what do i need hey this is not what i need not what you need i fuck smart it's, okay this which leads me to my uh, uh shameless plug of a product i have called uncle jeff's male important decision cream this is a uh, uh, uh something you're supposed to use before you go to court before you buy a car before you go on a first date to get this head out of the equation as long as you think with your dick as long as your dick is the general manager of the team you're gonna win some games but you ain't never going to the playoffs because you got the wrong dude in charge this dude don't give a fuck about you or her he only gives a fuck about his one-eyed self he does not give a fuck you got to get him out of the way understood you have to start looking you have to start looking at your line this is why this is why it's so easy for us to lay down with women Uncle Jeff, but work this back to the control and access because if the man uses your important decision cream who controls access if men were to adopt that ideology say that say that last part yeah the uh, men's important decision cream who would control access if men adopted that ideology to stop thinking what their the small head pause 115 percent women still but it's not about 
it's not about uh, what it the women still control the access you just have more control over what streets you use you have more control it's a lot uh uh if you if you use uncle yeah. jeff male important decision cream before a first date you take her pussy from uh uh the the big joker down to the deuce of spades hmm. deuce of spades now it ain't as important i'm not gonna make as many goofy choices i'm relaxed and if i get it i'm on the second nut i don't know about y'all but on the second nut i'm not making love i'm fucking you can't you can't make love on the second nut i'm trying to kill you now that i got the first nut out of the way you are in that position and you are in that position with a person who has decided to give you access this yeah. person they, the woman still has to give you access it's just there's a higher echelon of woman you are deciding to ask for access from you should not be asking for access from women who cannot move your purpose forward period let these yeah. other fools let these dudes that get up here and complain about women all the time let the simps do it let the dump trucks do it you dudes that got a purpose the truth about a woman is every woman whether she knows it or not wants to be in a threesome with you and your purpose yeah. that's where she really wants to be so fuck the shit out of your purpose first that's where that's where that's where you're supposed to be at and then when you fucking your purpose don't fuck the girl that hot dog on the stand don't fuck the, the, I, look th th that's the other thing dudes have some some fallacy about how good pussy wasn't i say that pussy is still as good as it's always been it just now has more competition when i was young the best video game we had was Pong. Atari Minute Poop. God damn you old. Huh? Shit. Poop, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, nigga, have you seen Call of Duty? Have you seen NBA 2K? I can jack off and play this and have a lot less headache from this broad. Because you are in these positions, you have to use them to your advantage. Stop yeah. fucking raggedy broads for what they all pussy come standard i ain't never met a woman didn't have one they all got it they all got it and it all make you this thing all of it so why why are you having sex with women that don't move your shit forward that's the, that's that's right there if you if you follow them rules all the scallywag problems all that and then to the women they go well can i fuck who i want you should here's uh uh here here's the caveat i put to women you can fuck whoever you want as long as you don't fuck bums i don't mind if me if i'm sharing you with another captain of industry sure but if you're gonna fuck day day then you need to get the fuck on and go fuck day day we start doing that and and, and in that scenario and i'll land this plane let's just say i'm single i got my shit together ali got his shit together and we decide look uh th this used to be my old pimp game look when you with me my time is your time when you are not with me what you do with your time is your business what i do with my time is my business and uh you will never have to worry about me or another woman giving these words to you what the fuck is this are you cool is she cool with that and me and Ali are fucking the same broad. And this chick is the dopest accountant in town. And she come up pregnant. It doesn't matter who baby it is. Do you know why? Because that baby will have access to both me and Ali's wisdom. And as long as she don't let an idiot in this fucking circle, this baby got it made. That's how you start building, uh, 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 rebuilding the black community. This, the, the, this family shit, the family's over. The black family has been destroyed and it's the best thing in the world. Family is some European shit. We were raised by villages. A village don't have families in it. The kids don't even belong to you. They belong to the village. That means if this kid want to learn about music, all y'all kids want to learn about music, you go to King Ham's hut. King Ham going to teach you about music. And whatever everybody's good at, that's what the trigger mic going to teach you how to shoot. That's that's And that's how you raise a nation. That's the next nation. This chasing this European family shit that they can't even hold on to is played like Slade when it's 90 in the shade. I land there.
You heard that Uncle, music. Uh, Uncle Jeff, what I understand that the monogamy might be European, but what's that shit you just said though? What do you mean? That's polyamory. We don't practice yeah. that shit. Okay, okay, don't. Don't. No, don't. no, I'm saying like we, when you look at like black nations, like uh, other people, if you say like we related to any of them, they're not polyamorous, they polygynous. Where the woman would share a man, but um, two men sharing a woman, that's some other, that might be more European than monogamy. No, no, it's not. Okay, fine. Whatever it is, whatever it is, let's just say it came from Pluto. Let's just say I'm dead fucking wrong and no Africans did it and I pull that out of my ass. Why doesn't it work from this place? It's the caveat you give a woman. You can fuck whoever you want as long as you don't fuck bonds. Do you know how bad you just fucked her game off? Because most of the women, these women, men, most of the men, these women frivol frivolously fuck are bums. No, no, I understand, but it, it won't work because the men indefinitely won't know who they're whose child it is which causes severe conflict amongst men especially no. given that territory is a part of our nature not at all first <laughs> of all if me and ali is fucking the same girl to get pregnant look ali is ali yellow. Baby come shit. out yellow with a with a v-neck on who baby is that <laughs> no. i like the privilege on this show <laughs> ali, how, how are you part of this ali real man wear uh, v neck if the uh, real man wear uh iron v neck you'll see a wrinkle but yeah, but, Uncle but Jeff got a point if if it is born with a v neck it's Uncle, definitely Ali. Jeff. Right. tell a friend to tell a friend and we out <laughs>